All right, you have found it. It's the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. Weather for Weather Geeks, Monday evening, 10th day of February. And we're a third of the way through February. February, to me, can't end soon enough. You know, at this time of the year, I'm starting to get the springtime itch, and especially on a day like today, where it's just pretty gloomy out there. I uh, was really longing for some sunshine and uh, things to green up a little bit, but uh, where we live, we have to be patient, that's for sure. And it usually takes until well into March, if not into April, before we see a lot of signs of spring. Sometimes spring likes to settle in a little early. March 2012 comes to mind. Uh, and I'll talk about the longer range at the end of the video. I am fairly optimistic about this March being better than the last couple of Marches. This time lapse from Niles today shows uh, the low hanging cloud deck, the, uh, the base of these clouds only about 500 feet off the surface. So very low clouds and occasionally some mist and drizzle fell out of these clouds and then temperatures kind of backed off throughout the day. And this was, you know, as expected, we reached our highest temperature today pretty early in the day with uh, temperatures then tailing back through the 30s during the midday and afternoon today. Not exactly a beautiful Monday. We'll do a little bit better tomorrow, I think. Our uh, radar loop from today shows, uh, again, you didn't see much from midday on today, but a little light rain, some drizzle, some mist, will remain a possibility for the next couple of hours at least. Now, this is small potatoes compared to what's going on in some parts of the country this evening. Steadier rain in the mid-Atlantic states, but down in the deep south, this is real problematic. There's been a lot of flooding issues today in parts of Dixie Alley, and flash flood watches and warnings extend from far eastern Texas through Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, up into the Smoky Mountains as well. And they're gonna be dealing with the rain uh, for a good chunk of the night tonight. For us, in the wake of this front, We'll hang on to the clouds tonight. Now, tomorrow is going to start out pretty gloomy, but I am optimistic that enough dry air will get involved tomorrow that we'll see some sun in the afternoon. It's going to be fairly ineffective. Uh, temperatures will not exactly blast off tomorrow, but we'll still be a handful of degrees warmer than average tomorrow afternoon. All right, let's talk about Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, we have high pressure retreating and allowing this warm front to approach late in the day Wednesday. The daylight hours will be just fine on Wednesday. This is kind of reminiscent of what we had last night where we have some warm advection, warmer air overtaking cooler air. And at first we'll see some snow and maybe even some accumulation, but then I think the rain will probably try to win the battle as we head through the overnight. Now this could be a close call up towards I-90, but south of I-90 and down into, into our viewing area, I think uh, odds are strongly favoring the rain winning the battle for a good chunk of the night. Now, uh, if this stays all snow up towards Toledo and Sandusky, maybe even out towards Cleveland, you know, they can get a handful of inches for us. You know, I, I kind of think this is relatively small potatoes and then any rain that we see overnight will change over to just some flurries and snow showers on Thursday. I doubt we'll see much of any consequence as far as accumulations go on Thursday. So again, where this manages to stay all snow, there'll be certainly enough to shovel and plow Fort Wayne, Toledo, Detroit, maybe as far south as Cleveland and Mansfield. But the farther south and east you come and closer to our area, I think that at the very least, there'll be plenty of mixed precipitation, and I think a clean changeover to rain seems pretty likely for a handful of hours later Wednesday night and into early in the day Thursday. Here's our model spread from Wednesday through Thursday night. Uh, one to three range right here, and yeah, that's our forecast. Uh, general slushy. Inch to two or three is the most likely accumulation. Again, fairly rem reminiscent of what we had last night, maybe a little more than we had last night, uh, but a similar idea where we get some evening snow changing to rain overnight and kind of washing away a lot of the accumulations that occur. All right, uh, flooding risk, not much of a concern for our area. I think by Wednesday though, uh, from I-70 on south, from Columbus on south, say, towards Marietta, Parkersburg, uh, Louisville, Cincinnati, Lexington, uh, there could be more flooding issues down into Dixie Alley during midweek. It's gonna be a very wet first half of the week in some parts of the Southern US. Our story at the end of the week is going to become temperatures, believe it or not, the coldest air mass of the entire winter is going to pay us a very brief visit. Let me actually back up this animation to Friday. This is Friday afternoon. I mean, no higher than the upper teens. We haven't seen many days like this at all uh, this winter. Our coldest high temperatures for any calendar day this winter have been in the 20s. Now, we've had a couple of afternoons in the teens where the calendar day high temperature occurred just after midnight. But uh, on Friday you know, a, a, a daytime high, the highest temperature for the calendar day Friday will probably be in the upper teens. And that's, again, a rarity 
this winter and then the coldest night of the winter season coming our way Friday night. If the sky goes completely clear, I can't rule out some lower single digits. Uh, the European model, which I'm showing you here, even has some places flirting with the goose egg in the northern reaches of our viewing area. I can't rule that out. I think in general, uh, single digits to around 10 will be pretty common as Saturday gets underway. So Valentine's Day, if you, uh, if you and the missus or the mister, if you and your loved one, I should say, uh, have uh, plans heading out to dinner Friday evening. Boy, bundle up. It is going to be awfully cold outside. Thankfully, uh, if your date night is going to be Saturday night, it will be quite a bit warmer. Let's talk about the longer range because it's Monday evening. We get a long range uh, batch of modeling from the uh, European Center. Monday evenings, Thursday evenings, and this goes all the way out 46 days. Just like with any set of modeling, you got to take this with a bit of a grain of salt. However, confidence is higher than usual in the longer range trends because of good model agreements, good consistency amongst this set of modeling and other sets of uh, model information as well. And the overall idea here is while we're gonna get that one day where it's gonna be cold at the end of the week, I posted on Twitter earlier, the fat lady can start uh, warming up when it comes to uh, winter. Now, this doesn't mean it can't snow, it doesn't mean we're not gonna have the occasional cold day, but as I roll this forward, there's just a lack of blue on the map across the Eastern US all the way through March. So occasionally a cold day, and even in relatively mild patterns in February, March, as you know, around here, we can get some snow. It doesn't mean it's not going to snow again, or we're not going to have any cold weather at all again. But, you know, just there's nothing pointing towards there being any sort of sustained cold in late meteorological winter and early meteorological spring. Good news for many, for cold lovers, and I know there are a few of you out there, uh, this is not uh, this has not been your winter, and it's not going to be your late winter or early spring, either. All right, more updates on the longer range on future editions of this video, and I'll have an update, of course, on the Wednesday night snow to rain situation uh, tomorrow evening on Weather for Weather Geeks on social media, and on Twenty One News at six and eleven. Have a great Monday night.